Businesses are transforming the world of technology. Daily tasks like making a grocery list, turning off the lights, now effortless. We've got Amazon's Alexa, Google Home, now Apple's HomePod. They're all, though, raising concerns about privacy. Caroline Corrigan's in your corner with some steps to keep your valuable information protected. Drop in Dixon Echo 4. From the moment he starts his day, Echo, what's the weather? Mike Dixon is hands free. It's 78 degrees Fahrenheit with Amazon's Alexa. I use it to listen to the news um, and then I use to listen to some talk radio or podcasts while I'm getting ready for you know, for work or for the day. Easy to do with an Echo Dot in almost every room in his house. They are pretty addictive because once you purchase the first one, you're going to you're going to keep doing them and, and now I have five of them. I'm going to call your phone now so listen out. So how do devices like these work? We asked ETSU technology instructor Stephen Hendricks. These are our smart devices that allow us to uh, use voice commands and through artificial intelligence and through these different keywords or trigger words do some action or activity. Hendricks says these devices don't wake up until they hear the key word, such as Alexa. Once it hears the key word, it starts recording. It then sends that audio file to a database to transmit and execute okay. the command. It's tools like these that are making everyday duties easier. This Amazon one, you can scan the barcode of an item you need and it's sent directly to your Amazon checkout. In a recent report by eMarker, the number of users is growing annually at 47%. That's faster than any technology product since Apple launched the iPhone. However, when a woman in Portland, Oregon had one of her private conversations recorded by an Amazon Alexa and sent to a contact in her phone, it put some light on how protected users actually are with these devices. Technology expert Anthony Lawrence says it's incidents like this that raise concerns. Uh, the average user has no clue what's going on. And these companies can say, oh, we're doing this and we're doing that. But in actuality, something else is going on. So how can you protect your privacy while using these devices? Don't have one all throughout your entire house, only have it in key locations for listening purposes. Uh, and then you can always go on to either the app or the website and you can actually review what trans or what commands you have sent and what audio was recorded with that. But for those like Dixon, Echo, set timer for two minutes. Who has five Alexas, including yeah, one in his car. Nice. He says he isn't worried about privacy. I don't have anything to hide as far as government or anything like that. Are they listening, transcribing that? What do we say? Probably, but what are they gonna hear? Me talking about a recipe in the kitchen. I reached out to Amazon to ask where these audio files are stored. A spokesperson for the company said, quote, voice recordings are stored until a customer chooses to delete them. Now, if you would like to learn more about how you can protect your privacy 